Some of Creality's new printers are coming with the Sprite hot end. The best part about them is they're super simple to swap if you have any issues, or if you want to toss another one, say with a different nozzle size on it between prints. Today I'm going to show you how to swap that Sprite hot end and how easy it is. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. Now the Sprite hot end came in two different flavors, non-pro and pro. The big difference between these is that the non-pro has a PTFE tube that goes all the way down into the nozzle, and the pro model, like we're gonna talk about today, actually has an all metal hot end. That's cool and all, but I think the best part about these is actually how easy they are to swap on these machines. But why would you need to swap it? You can do this if you wanted a couple different hot ends with different nozzle sizes, and you just wanted to be able to swap them quickly between prints. Say you're printing with a 0.4, the next print, you wanna use a 0.8 nozzle. All you have to do is remove the bolts, drop the new one on, put the bolts back in and rock and roll. You can just have an extra one around in case the nozzle jams or fails or something like that. So you can just toss the new one on and then fix the old one while the printer continues to print. This allows for less downtime on your printer. Another reason is that some people may want to have the non-pro or the PTFE lined and the pro all metal and swap between them depending on what filament they use. I know a lot of people who prefer PTFE lined hot ends when they're printing strictly PLA, but would love to go to something all metal when they go to the higher temp filaments. So that's some reasons why people may want to swap out the Sprite hot end or have a spare on hand. Enough talking about it, I think we should just do it. Let's go. So the first thing you wanna do is just make sure you have no filament in your hot end. If there is, heat it up and pull the filament out. That's the first thing. The next thing you wanna do is flip these two clips right here and pull out your hot end cable and set that aside. So the next thing you wanna do is remove the four bolts that are holding the Sprite hot end in. You can find them right here along the side of the hot end. There's one bolt that you don't have to remove and that is the one up in the gray part right here. From there, we just lift and pull the whole hot end right off of the carriage. Real quick, if you're getting value out of this video, please smash that like button. It helps push the video out to more people in the community just like you. And also, if you're not subscribed, I humbly ask if you could hit that subscribe button. It's free and it really helps the channel out. Now back to it. Now that you have the Sprite hot end off, you need to move over the CR Touch if the CR Touch didn't come on the new one. You can get them with and without the CR Touch is on them, and you can also buy one separate if you already have one that doesn't have it. To do this, all you have to do is pull the little cable and remove these two screws, and that CR Touch will come off. And then on the new one, all you have to do is put the two screws back in and push that cable in, and you're done. The CR Touch is now moved over. Once that's done, put the Sprite hot end back on the carriage, take your four bolts that you took out before and put them back in, and then plug in the wiring in the top. So that's it, you're done. You've officially removed and replaced your Sprite hot end. And this is the same across any of the printers that use this specific hot end. At this point, I would probably re-level and reset your Z just in case anything moved in there. It's the same thing, it shouldn't have, but you always wanna be safe. So go through the leveling, reset your Z offset, and you'll be good to go. You noticed we did talk about swapping that CR touch when we went through it. I did mention that you could actually pick up uh, a spare and put it on your hot end ahead of time and that would get you going. The other benefit of this is that if you were to crash the CR touch into something and break it, uh, something went wrong with it, it is super easy to swap out as you just saw. It's one little cable and two screws and you can get these separate. So that's another cool thing about the Sprite hot end. They make it super easy to swap that CR touch out as well. Let me know in the description if you think it's useful to be able to swap out a hot end like this uh, as easy and fast as this is. Really, without this video, it's five minutes or less. It is so fast to do this. And if you find it beneficial, I'd like to hear that too. The kit that I used is actually to replace a printer that didn't have the Sprite extruder on it. So it comes with a carriage and the cable and uh, the extruder, etc. I'll put this in the link in the description along with the CR Touch. And also I'll put the links for the Sprite hot ends so you don't get the carriage and all the extra stuff too. But this is cool because I can swap it into a printer that doesn't have the Sprite and make that work too. If you want to see more about how this Sprite hot end performed, check out this video right here. 